In this repair video, we're going to be working on an ASUS desktop motherboard. This one is model number Z890 Maximus Extreme, a big and heavy board. Okay, very heavy motherboard. And the customer came in with his desktop locally, and he said that he ruined something. Let me show you what's going on. The customer damaged a pin on the socket. That's the only damaged pin. And if you look here, the pin actually flipped backwards. I told the customer there's a risk when trying to unbend that pin, that that pin may break. There's a risk. Sometimes if you have a bent pin or if you have a broken pin, it doesn't really matter. Maybe the pin is in no connect or the pin is similar to other pins on the socket. But he said that this one is throwing errors and he wants it fixed. I checked the whole socket before I pushed on the record button and nothing else is obvious. The socket looks good. And I did ask the customer, how did this happen? He has no idea. He does not know. How can we fix this? There's no right or wrong way to unbend that pin. There's a 50% chance that pin will break. And if it broke, then it's game over. There's nothing I can do and we cannot change the socket. Changing the socket on this motherboard or any motherboard for that matter is not a practical repair. Somebody else want to do it by all means, but it's not a practical repair. So let's hope that we can unbend that pin without breaking it. Take a deep breath and hold on to your seats. Maybe we can apply a tiny bit of hot air, not too much. That way we can soften that metal a bit. Which tweezer should we use? What tool should we use? There is no specific right or wrong tool to use. You just want to be able to grab that pin and slowly bend it backwards. You do, however, need a microscope. You need a good microscope. Like the one that we are using here. The Northridge Fix microscope. The microscopes are back in stock. We got them in yesterday. All back orders are being fulfilled. And for those who have been waiting for the microscope and you clicked on that notify me when the scopes are back in stock, we already sent you an email. I do not know who came out with this socket design. The worst design in history. It's not only that the socket has a lot of pins, but those pins are in a wavy shape. Let's apply more hot air. And are we going to be able to do it? We do not want to force that pin. As long as the pin is not shortened out with another pin, then we are good. I told the customer there's a chance that this will not work. He's still responsible for the bench fee. The customer agreed. He said it's an expensive board and he want to at least try. So I will do my absolute best to give him the best job that I can. I'm not Superman, or maybe I am, 
but we have to be realistic. Superman is already dead. Let's be humble here. Humble is for the weak. Right now, I do not want to force it. I do not want to do anything crazy because that pin will break. It's better to have a slightly deformed pin than to have a broken pin. Because we're going to get comments like, that pin is not straight. That pin is still crooked. This pin is the size of your hair, okay? Maybe a little bit bigger, depending on your nationality. We are under a microscope right now, okay? That's how it looks like when I'm zoomed out. And if you look at the socket with your naked eye, it's going to be smaller. So I put my tweezer under the pin. I just want to bend it from the center without putting too much pressure. And just like that. Now I can push it to the side. I can keep fiddling around with that pin until I break it, and I do not want to do that. The pin is good. It's not perfect, but it's not touching other neighboring pins, and that should work for the customer. Short video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video. We Great news. Our microscopes are back in stock. We just unboxed a huge shipment. We have over 47 back orders. And for all of you who clicked on notify me when the scopes are back in stock, we already sent you an email. We should have a microscope for every one of you. We also got the 96 LED ring lights back in stock. And one thing I can tell you is it's been a roller coaster ordering those microscopes. Tariffs were at 145%, then at 200%, then at 90%. We had to wait until things settled down a bit. And we just got our hands on the new Northridge Fix microscopes. As you know, our microscopes are super sharp and clear edge to edge. Unlike our competition, our microscopes are edge to edge clarity. No vignetting, no edge distortion. The microscope has our Northridge Fix logo on it and the red color is specific to us. And if you use the included mouse, you plug it in the microscope and you right click you will also see our logo in the menu. That's how you know that this is the original Northridge Fix microscope. The microscope comes with the power adapter, a mouse, a GMI cable, the zoom lens, the big one, and you have two Barlow lenses, 0.5 and 0.75x Barlow lens. What is a Barlow lens used for? Let's say you are working on a big connector and you wanna see more under the microscope. What you can do is you can install any one of those two Barlow lenses so you can see more on the motherboard. If I'm working on a 2011 iMac LCD connector, those connectors are big. If I'm using just the zoom lens, then I'm gonna see maybe half that connector. If I wanna see the full connector because it's a big connector, then I can snap one of those Barlow lenses on the lens itself. We also have the 96 LED ring light back in stock. We've been out of stock for the past maybe two months. This is a shadow free ring light. I have a video going over this ring light and why this ring light is one of the best out there it's an amazing light the lights on this ring light they angle at about five degrees angle each one of them so they can create a shadow free lighting 
So if you are in the market for a microscope, do not waste your time doing any research. I have already done the research for you, and this is what I use in every single one of our videos. The new microscope also comes with a measuring feature that I will go over in a future video. And the measuring feature allows you to measure components on the board. We just got a package from Wayne. And Wayne left a note. Dear sir, this is a spare display that I no longer need. It will work on iMac 2017 to 2019, used and in working condition. I'm a fan of yours, watch all your videos, and learned a lot from you. This is a donation from me to you. I'm the same person who sent you the other part that you can use. Best regards, Wayne. Thank you very much, Wayne. We can most definitely make use of that screen. And I appreciate it.